very busy. Action News Now reporter Christian Lopez has an inside look at this crucial piece of the Dixie Fire battle. I spoke with the air attack supervisor that has been flying in this aircraft. He's been out there on the Dixie Fire front line since the second day the fire started, and he talked to me about what it's been like. You know, we're seeing erratic and, you know, a fire behavior, so um, it's been challenging. This is video Sky McGregor shot while flying over the Dixie Fire in what is called an air attack. He assists the pilot to help guide other planes and helicopters. The aircraft is responsible for monitoring and coordinating all helicopters and air tankers like this one that are dropping retardant and water on the fire. My job is kind of an umbrella over the whole fire and I have all of those assets and those resources underneath me and I'm just making sure that they're doing the right thing. Rick Carhart with Cal Fire tells me planes use the Chico Air Attack Base to refuel and reload on retardant. It really is sort of a moment by moment decision the way that they use aircraft on fires. So it just really depends on what the conditions are over the fire, how much aircraft they're able to use and what the needs are on the fire at that particular moment. So it's a very dynamic and a very changeable sort of scenario. McGregor says if the weather permits, he'll soon be back out on the front lines. It's been trying, but um, all the uh, efforts of the ground crews and myself, I, I think we're starting to uh, kind of get a handle on this thing. And when McGregor is in the aircraft monitoring the air traffic, he can communicate with up to seven radio frequencies at a time, meaning that he is talking to firefighters both on the ground and in the air. Reporting in Chico, Christian Lopez, Action News. Now coverage you can count on. What an amazing bird's eye view there. If you want to see that video again, we're going to have this story up on our website, actionnewsnow.com. Now, Carhartt says the air tankers have the ability to drop up to 1,200 gallons of retardant at a time.